Quantum computers is a hardware question where it actually increases your ability to do much more than with an ordinary digital computer. Quantum solutions are delivering astonishing innovation and having an impact right now. What solutions could we develop if we were able to model more complex molecules and reactions on a scalable quantum computer? Imagine a world where problems that would take a lifetime for a supercomputer to solve could be unraveled in mere seconds. Welcome to the future powered by quantum computing. Today, we'll be taking a fascinating voyage into the quantum realm, where the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics reign supreme. So buckle up as we delve into what quantum computing is, its origins, how it works, and how it's set to redefine our world. The Quantum Leap in Computing at the heart of quantum computing is a fundamental shift in how we process information. Traditional computers, as powerful as they are, operate within a binary framework. They process information in bits, which can be either a zero or a one, like a light switch that's either on or off. Now, imagine if that light switch could be both on and off at the same time, and also fluctuate between these states. Welcome to the world of quantum computing where instead of bits, we have quantum bits or qubits. This opens up an entirely new dimension in computing because qubits can exist in a superposition of states. Essentially, while a bit can be a zero or a one, a qubit can be a zero, a one, or both at the same time. To illustrate this concept, imagine juggling. With classical computing, it's like juggling two balls, one in each hand. With quantum computing, it's like juggling countless balls simultaneously with just two hands. In theory, the more balls or qubits you have, the more complex and vast your calculations can be. That's the power of superposition. But the magic of quantum computing doesn't stop at superposition. There's another astonishing concept known as quantum entanglement. In this mind-boggling state, two qubits become deeply linked so that the state of one directly and instantaneously influences the state of the other. Regardless of the distance between them, Imagine having two entangled dice. When you roll them, if one comes up six, the other instantly becomes a six two, no matter how far apart they are. In the world of quantum computing, superposition and entanglement together create a rich tapestry of possibilities that allows a quantum computer to process an enormous amount of information concurrently. This is why many believe quantum computing could be a game changer tackling problems currently beyond the reach of even the most powerful supercomputers. But as with all powerful tools, the promise comes with challenges. Building and maintaining a quantum computer is no easy task. Quantum states are fragile, and maintaining their superposition and entanglement requires extremely delicate conditions, like ultra-low temperatures and isolation from all forms of disturbance. However, scientists and engineers around the world are racing to overcome these challenges, driven by the immense potential of this technology. A walkthrough of quantum history. As we sail further into our quantum voyage, it's time to step back and trace the origins of this revolutionary technology. Quantum computing might seem like a concept straight out of a science fiction novel, but its roots stretch back decades, intertwined with the development of quantum mechanics itself. Quantum mechanics, the peculiar branch of physics that deals with the smallest particles in the universe, was born in the early 20th century, challenging our very understanding of reality. Yet, it wasn't until the late 20th century that a physicist dared to dream of harnessing quantum mechanics for computation. That physicist was Richard Feynman, an eccentric genius with a knack for thinking outside the box. Back in 1982, he proposed the idea of a computer that could operate on quantum principles. In his words, nature isn't classical, damn it, and if you want to make a simulation of nature, you'd better make it quantum mechanical. Feynman's vision was the spark that ignited the quantum computing revolution. As the 1980s rolled into the 1990s, quantum computing was still a theoretical concept, but the foundations were being laid. In 1994, mathematician Peter Shor developed an algorithm that could, in theory, factor large numbers exponentially faster on a quantum computer than any known algorithm on a classical computer. This was a monumental moment, as it showed a concrete advantage of quantum computing, particularly in the realm of cryptography, where factoring large numbers plays a vital role. Around the same time, Love Grover from Bell Labs devised another quantum algorithm, known as Grover's algorithm, which could search an unsorted database faster than any classical equivalent. 
Shore and Grover's algorithms became, and still are, the poster children for the power of quantum computing. Fast forward to the 21st century, we are now witnessing the fruits of these early endeavors. Tech giants such as IBM, Google, and Microsoft are in a fierce race to build viable quantum computers. Google's Quantum AI Lab even announced quantum supremacy in 2019, claiming that their quantum computer solved a problem in minutes that would take a supercomputer thousands of years. How do quantum computers work? Having journeyed through the genesis of quantum computing, we now venture into the mind-bending mechanics that underpin these revolutionary machines. Let's consider a day in the quantum computing office, if you will. The workday begins with our qubits in a state of superposition, courtesy of the principles of quantum mechanics. These qubits and their superposition represent a spectrum of possibilities, like an artist's palette holding an array of colors, ready to paint an infinite number of pictures. Now it's time for some quantum operations, the crux of quantum computation. These operations are performed using quantum gates, akin to the logic gates in classical computers. Yet these are no ordinary gates. They manipulate the qubits in ways that are impossible in classical computing. Creating and managing quantum entanglement and enabling the qubits to maintain their superposition. Imagine this quantum gate scenario as a magical merry-go-round. When a qubit hops on, the ride spins, flips, and rotates the qubit, alerting its state. Some rides even link qubits together, creating that strange quantum entanglement we mentioned earlier, where the fate of one qubit is intertwined with another, no matter how far apart they are. Once the quantum gates have had their fun, it's time for the grand reveal. The qubits are measured, and in that moment they collapse from their state of superposition, choosing a definite state, either 0 or 1. This collapse isn't random, but influenced by the manipulations performed by the quantum gates. These final states provide the answer to the computation. Sounds simple, right? Well, not quite. Here's the challenging part. Maintaining qubits in their quantum state long enough to perform these operations is incredibly tough. Quantum states are extraordinarily sensitive, and any slight disturbance can cause decoherence, ending the quantum state and derailing the whole computation process. That's why quantum computers operate in extremely controlled environments, often at temperatures colder than outer space. Quantum computing and the future. What does a world reshaped by quantum computing look like, from cryptography and drug discovery to AI and climate modeling? The potential applications of quantum computing are as vast and varied as the quantum realm itself. Let's begin with cryptography, the backbone of secure communications on the internet today. Classical computers can take thousands of years to crack certain encryption codes, like RSA, giving us a sense of security. However, if quantum computers became a reality, they could potentially crack these codes in mere minutes. But fear not, for every potential threat there is an opportunity. The very same quantum principle can be used to create unbreakable quantum encryption, leading to a new era of quantum security. Next, consider the pharmaceutical industry. Discovering a new drug is like finding a needle in a haystack, a process that can take years and billions of dollars. Quantum computers with their ability to simultaneously explore multiple solutions could help us simulate and analyze complex molecular structures, accelerating drug discovery and potentially saving millions of lives. Similarly, quantum computing could revolutionize the field of artificial intelligence. AI relies on the ability to recognize patterns in massive data sets. With quantum computing, AI models could process and analyze data at an unprecedented scale and speed, opening new frontiers in everything from autonomous vehicles to personalized medicine. In the realm of climate science, quantum computers could simulate and predict complex climate models more accurately than ever before, providing crucial insights into climate change and informing sustainable practices for the future. However, while the potential applications of quantum computing are exciting, they're not without challenges. Quantum computers today are in their infancy, similar to classical computers in the 1940s. Practical, large-scale quantum computers are still years if not decades away. However, the quantum journey is well underway, and with every stride we make, we are moving closer to realizing this remarkable technology. As we stand on the brink of this quantum revolution, one thing is clear. The world as we know it is set to change in ways we can't even imagine. This fascinating world of quantum computing might seem like the stuff of dreams, but as we journey forward, it's becoming more real every day. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to stay updated. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious.